Send you a DVD. <laughs> and where you live. Um, so go, please do that. Bitly. Tell us where you slash live. Slash Mayhem Survey. So we can find out more about you. So with that, let's go to uh, the Indie Minute with Eamon, the man on the indies. Hi. Hi. Hello, Sorg. Uh, speaking of indies, uh, I'm not the only man on the indies. Sorg is also a man about the indies. Uh, indies specifically like IWC, which was this past weekend uh, at, for Friday Night Fight. Sorg, how'd it go? It went very well. Uh, this was a return. The first time they went back a second time in a year, uh, within a year, uh, to uh, White Oak, PA, which is kind of a... A uh, different venue for them. It's not the full-on setup that we do for uh, uh, the Core Time Sports Center for the bigger shows. Um, I, the show was great. Um, the the it was Friday night fights, so you know there wasn't much more of the theme other than there were matches. You know, it wasn't proving grounds with the new talent initiative or anything like that. Um, you know, headlined by friends of the show, uh, Logan Shulo versus John McChesney, had a ton Yay. of fun in the <laughs> second half as uh, we. We found ourselves uh, accompanied by various announce, announcing partners for Joe Dombrowski, uh, including Zima Ion joined us for a couple matches. Um, Colin, Colin Delaney actually uh, joined us for the uh, big eight-man tag match, uh, as well as uh, Joe Brooks, and Joseph the Hammer Brooks, I'm sorry, and Jimmy Nuts joined us. Um, for the you want to get nuts? There you go for the main event there. So there's a little bit of footage there from uh, of the main event, um, but you can go check that out. But but a really fun show. Uh, had a blast. Uh, uh, the main event was great. The eight man tag was was uh, a lot of fun, um, including uh, including uh, STDs, these sexy talented dudes. Um, great match. Uh, Zima Ion took on the uh, my favorite because. His gimmick is bowling uh, with uh, uh, Brian McDowell, who's been on the show previously from our WrestleCon uh, coverage earlier this year. Um, how hard can it be to wrestle in bowling shoes? Very difficult. Do you remember how uncomfortable they were bowling? I would also think they would give you a bit of an advantage because don't they have like a bit of traction when like you're on the Do they? The I thought they were all floor. slippery as hell. Yeah, the point is they don't have traction. Yeah, or maybe, or they're they're in some advantage to where it is good for bowling. So maybe it helps me get the rest of the I need to have a longer discussion with him about that. So I don't know. Either way, uh, but really good show. Other um, um, friend of the show. Uh, yeah, we you know have we have Justin Plummer on the show. Yes, we have. Have we? Yes, we have. We did. Yes, we have. We did. Um, well, he hijacked the chair shot reality show of Justin Labar, which has been fantastic. This is a guy that's been in the back doing Aftershock, has never been in the ring in front of the camera. He's been doing backstage stuff for, for the last couple of years. Um, but this is his first in the ring in front of people, and it was great for him to get that reaction. Um, and he did something fun where he put a little video online of uh because justin labar didn't make it because something about the airport situation and somehow he got his uh, uh sm too small for his body jacket um so uh, they were having a lot of fun with that stuff but the big news uh coming up they're going to do a show called we don't want to get this name right retro reunion for iwc which is apparently going to be a lot of uh returns and rematches from iwc's past and the first match they announced is actually uh, facade the super indie champion against egotastico i'm sorry e egotistico, egotistico fantastico there he is right there on that website um who w won super indie a couple years ago but never lost the the title because he of an injury uh, and this is actually a rematch from from that very tournament uh so I, i'm really excited to see what they do with that um already they got several matches announced and this is for october 19th um, including uh, a friend of the show, Bobby Shields, is going to come back for that. Bobby Fish, are, he's not the ROH Tag Team Champion anymore, correct? No, he is currently. He is still? He is? Riley. Okay. Um, and these guys, Eamon, you told me about the, how these guys, because I'm like, I didn't know who they were. Uh, War mm -hmm. uh, is taking on Pete Dunn and Mark Andrews. Who are yes, really, I'm very excited. They're, they're on a run here through the America, uh, from, mm -hmm. and they're from Europe. England. Yep, from England. Uh, they've been touring a lot of a lot of different companies. Uh, they, I know they recently wrestled for like some of the wrestling is promotions. Uh, they're doing a lot of cool stuff, and they're a great tag team, a very uh, high flying based tag team. 
they're they're young up and comers, and I I'm excited that uh, IWC is going to get a chance to sort of showcase them because they're true talents. Awesome, awesome. So I, pretty cool. They, they they ditched the whole no excuses, which you know no excuses really hasn't been anything big since back when they had like the uh, you know AJ. Styles. Now now it's only some excuses. It's only it's only mildly excuses, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's cool that they kind of threw a new concept in there. They're going to throw some old faces in there, and, and it's going to be really cool for IWC fans to check out. So. Um, but yeah, you can check that out. And also, DVD just got released for RWA's uh, last show, uh, the Fall Free for All Five, which included a certain. Blonde, Sorry, where can they get that? DVD? They can get that at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. Digital Ooh, download and DVD, yeah. um, including the uh, a haircut of one blonde locked friend of the show, Ryan Edmonds. Uh, so you can go check that out. That was a fun show, too. Great match between JS and G Raver, uh, uh, of course. Um, and they're setting up for Bloody Harvest here in uh, two weeks, just under two weeks. If you want to go check them out at rwalive.com. And yeah, IWCWrestling.com cool. if you want to check them out, too. So, yeah. Check all those Sorgatron Media friends out. Uh, also, there's a couple other promotions that are having events this weekend that I think you should check out. Uh, the first, if you're in the Midwest area, specifically the Illinois area, go check out our friends at St. Louis Anarchy. They're held, holding their Mortality of War event October 4th in Alton, Illinois at the uh, uh, Knights of Columbus Hall. Uh, definitely, it should be a very interesting event. I know there's going to be uh, Darren Corbin defending his St. Louis Anarchy Championship against friend of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Gary J, in what should be a very fun matchup. Uh, there's uh, tons of the, you know, really some of the best Midwest talent. Uh, you know, uh, I believe Davey Vega and Matt Fitchett will be taking on uh, Michael Elgin and Kyle O'Reilly from Ring of Honor. Uh, there's a lot of breakout stars. Uh, a friend of the show, Ricky Starks, is making his debut for St. Louis Anarchy against Dingo, which should be a very fun match. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Even though, uh, if you want to see those uh, two men I mentioned before, uh, Mark Andrews and Pete Dunn, they'll be the, at that event as well, uh, as well as tons of great uh, Midwest talent. So if you want to go check them out, go to slarusting.com. Uh, and like I said, it's at the Knights of Columbus in uh, Alton, Illinois, October 4th. Uh, at 6.15, doors open. So definitely go check them out and go support St. Louis Anarchy because they're doing a lot of great stuff in the Midwest area and they put on a really awesome product. Uh, and we mentioned a bit of the Wrestling Is stuff before. There are two Wrestling Is events that are happening this weekend, both of them being for Wrestling Is Awesome, uh, October 5th in Fairfield, Maine, and October 6th in Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, they are having the uh, sort of continuation of their championship tournament, the finals, which will be in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, looks like it's shaping up to be something very interesting. There's a lot of good uh, matchups there with a lot of guys you would see in Shakara. Also, some guys... Uh, from the New England area are mixed in with those. Um, and it should be a very interesting show. Uh, both shows should be very interesting. So if you want to go check them out and get tickets, you can go to wiawesome.com if you're in either Fairfield, Fairfield Maine, or Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, go check them out because it should be a fun weekend of uh, professional wrestling. Uh, if you're all around the uh, uh, area, go to, if you're in any part of the united states or canada or beyond go to a wrestling show there's got to be one somewhere around there. are you alive go to wrestling yeah seriously why not uh so yeah that's the indie minute for this week and, and, and i know we talk about a lot of things where we say hey there's a show in pittsburgh and uh and it may be something we don't do a lot enough here is mm -hmm. hey this show's happening in pittsburgh this show's happening in st louis this show's happening in texas but a lot of these do have dvds um i don't mm. know does does wrestling is awesome do those guys have DVDs? they did they, they have uh mp4s i believe okay, over so, on uh smdod.com i don't okay, think they MP4s. do DVDs. that's which you can also you can also feel free to look up indie wrestling in your area and then write in about it and then we'll cover absolutely it. Exactly. Yeah, because please. there's indie wrestling there's indie wrestling that doesn't do dvds that's probably really awesome and it's there's probably like 20 million wrestling companies in the world and there's got to be something the in the next area, month so i go want to it. talk about the um, hardcore uh, homecoming that's happening in Poughkeepsie. Exactly. I, and, you know, I, it was funny. I can't go and, to it because I don't like it. But, it was yeah. funny, Mike, because um, uh, so, uh, my, my sister-in-law oh, actually lives like, just north of you there in the Bronx. And uh, she had talked about uh, uh, it was NYWC, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah. It shows up in Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Yep. So, I mean, it, I mean, that this is, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's everywhere. Uh, well, you know, uh, even and, and even these shows, if they don't seem they're going to be anything crazy, go watch wrestling live. 
Seriously. So seriously. And even you may if find it's not the best, really like. even if it's not the best wrestling, that experience is still something. Even a, a lot of times, even with a crappy promotion, it's still something, you know? Generally, um, the smaller the show, the more fun you are likely to have. That's it. And, and, you, and the, you may see someone that, you know, you go into a show not expecting some, the, you know, the card to be great. And you may see someone that breaks out. And you may see someone that you, uh, really get into and yeah spread the word about them because yeah. you know that's how these guys break out so because i know amen you, you say you go over and we don't have to name who it is but you say you go check out some rather cruddy wrestling sometimes just because because it's because well, I, I well in texas there's wrestling everywhere if you if you if you stumble in some city there's wrestling mm-hmm. in texas mm-hmm. um yeah but i mean like just go to indie wrestling because i mean it costs what ten dollars maybe and you get to support some guys, and and there's a lot of guys that are really, you know, if you look hard enough, are busting their ass, and they definitely uh, want, you know, people packing the places, and you know, just go have fun. This, it's, this, wrestling, know, in, that, this wrestling is awesome. Show is in Maine. Yes. So let's put our heads around that Maine. What's in Maine other than lobsters and wilderness, or New Hampshire for that matter? Yeah, exactly. Right. New um, Hampshire has a great pumpkin fest. They do. They Good. Do, do they wrestle the pumpkin? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, they might. Is Frightmare fight, fighting on this show? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Great branding. Um, so, I mean, no, it, it is. Go explore. Type in your town. Find find pro wrestling in the in the, in the the area. Um, I, not, you know, some of the really crappy ones, I guess, don't have maybe websites sometimes. Um, but yeah, and I know we, I mean, I know we talk about like an IW here and RW. I know I meant, I should have mentioned, uh, like PWX I know has a show coming up this yeah. weekend, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. It, there's wrestling everywhere, guys. And then, and, and, and they, and I haven't gone down to any of them, but, um, I've been meaning to, uh, for ages now, but there's a lot of, uh, uh good friends of the show, people we've seen on IWC, Prime Wrestling, other places, um, that, uh, that, that go through there now. Um, mm-hmm. so I have no problem with PWX. I, I wish, you know, there was a better thing on TV that they did so people could see it, you know, cause a lot of great right. guys go through Gory's going through the Matt justice, um, uh, Scotty gash. Um, um, you know, uh, can't remember the one guy's name, Chris something, uh, <laughs> you know, but no, there's a lot of, a lot of great names coming through there. Now they look, they, they're looking like, you know, a lot of the other promotions here that, that's getting a lot of really good talent. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So, so go check out indie wrestling is what we're trying to tell you. It's not just all what's on TV. You never know. Yeah. You know.